Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday video, I want to show you a real easy way to make a, a flower garden. I haven't found this until today, but um, I'm sharing it with you. Let's get started. So before I get going, I want to remind you of the opportunity you have to support these videos and to help them continue going. Check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash design build solutions. For as little as two or five dollars a month, just the price of a cup of coffee, um, that will help me continue going with uh, this education and the videos, uh, producing them, taking the time uh, to, to make them and share this information with you. It would encourage me greatly to keep going and uh, to keep putting up these videos. And I want to do more, but uh, if, if there's no interest, then I won't keep going. Um, so check that out, patreon.com slash design build solutions. All right, into, into today's tip. As I said, I've learned something new today um, about creating Flower gardens. Let's look at this plan. So it, it's it's a it's a really big one. So it's taking me some time. Uh, it's taking the computer some time to work on it. Have you played with distributed regions, distributed paths yet? Uh, it kind of blew my mind here. I've got several places where the landscape architect calls out for plantings. And typically, I would just copy and paste these randomly. Um, in the past, that's all I've ever done. So I'd copy, paste, and then uh, click on the sticky mode, and you can, you know, paste a bunch of random little uh, shrubs around here. What I've done here instead is created a distribution path. Now, let's look, for instance, at the um, library object that I just pasted down here. This is the Juniperus squamata blue um, plant image. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a spline. You could draw uh, a line, an arc. You could make, make it do however you want. I like splines. It just kind of gives a more natural flow feeling. So I'm going to right click. I've hit F10 so that I don't have any um, uh, angle snaps on right now. And I'm just going to left click as I go here and we will make several um, several points on the spline. Now if I select this spline, I can convert that polyline into, right here, a polyline distribution path. If it were a closed um, object, whether that's a square or multi-sided um, region, then we would have the option to create a polyline distribution region. But right now it's just a path because it's a line with a start and an end point. So, once that uh, does that, now we can select an object to any library object that you want to distribute along there. It works, uh, but I specifically want to do this as a plant. Juniper, uh, let's search for that. There it is all the way at the bottom, Juniper squamata blue. Click on that. Now, you can see the object we've got here for that spline. Uh, in the display, in the plan here, I'll show this line. Uh, we could turn the line off. We could not show the path. And we could not even show the objects. We could show just the path and not the objects. Or we could show the path but not the objects or I'm sorry, we could, we could show the objects but not the path, or we can show both. 
and show one or the other or both. Um, I could do an evenly number at a distance between. Let's say we want to do 20 and uh, 50. You could do random number, you know, random distance between the, the uh, you can do even, minimum and maximum are the same, and that way every one is 20 inches apart, or we could do the random. You could do very random, you know. I could do an even number of objects along this path. Let's say we wanted to do 12 specifically wanted to do 12 along that path. Now if this were a straight line, you'd, you'd just see a uniform you know, distance between. But I could um, make it somewhat random by really making this uh, spline path take you know, a, a somewhat random um, uh, trail along there. I'm going to do this 20 and 40 distance between centers. Object orientation, let's do, uh, let's change that to 75. With plants, I'm not finding that it change, object orientation changes a whole lot because the plants themselves follow the path of the, of the um, camera, typically. Um, so, I'm not seeing that that changes a whole lot, a whole heck of a lot. Um, I do like with the plants the random angle because you see the difference between absolute and random don't change anything, or absolute and relative, I should say. But if I zoom in here and change it to random angle, you see how it looks like this one switched so it's this little piece is on the right and this is on the left. So relative, they're all on the same side, random. There's some on the left, some on the right. I like that. Um, object positioning, we could change that. Uh, let's, let's go uh, 20 inches and random sides. Minimum side offset is 10, 40. And then I love this part, object scaling, so that it, you don't have uh, you know just a bunch of bushes the same height. We could change the object scaling, so 90% is the smallest, and we could go 120%. Um, Randomly again, so we could go real. The smallest could be 90% of the of the typical library up to 120%. I'm going to click OK, and Chief is thinking. There we go. Let's move this over. Open this up. Because I did the offset, I'm going to show the path as well. So you can see how some are offset farther off the path than others. Some are smaller and larger than others. Um, let's remove the offset option. We could do random sides, and let's see what that does before I remove the option. There we go. We could do alternating sides. So this is what you could do with um, just a straight line, if we did a straight line path. You could do alternating sides and do um, various offsets. That's not bad, right? Let's take a quick look at this. In 3D.
Now I must have I must have increased the size of these up here before I copied them. So let's let's take one and um, it doesn't show. I can't go back to um, original reset to original. I was hoping I could reset to the original. Maybe find the original size. What I could do is just um, increase this minimum scale of this. Let's say minimum minimum scale is 150% and uh, 180 is the maximum scale. There we go. So that's region paths. I wanted to show you that. And then next is one place that does not work. One, one uh, situation that does not work for uh, the paths. I have this wall, retaining wall, that I wanted to show uh, climbing ivy or, or hanging, I guess. Depends on which way you look at it. I want it to hang from the top of the um, retaining wall here, but what the distribution path is doing is one, it's following the grade. Let's do this. I'm going to split the screen. It's following the grade, and you'll notice that it turns the um, plant image exactly uh, 90 degrees to the path. It follows that. So I'm going to open up this path and we're going to say 60 between centers. Click OK. So you see how it that plant image just is is not following. I want it to be like these. These two right here. I've manually placed uh, perpendicular to the wall and so I'm going to have to manually place them around this curve and down the path here, um, down the straight wall. And I cannot set the height of a um, distributed path uh, for a plant image. I want to, I want to make that height absolute not following the terrain uh, and I have I just don't have any control of that in this distribute distribution path specification box I can select the image um, as noted before I can't turn the orientation of the of the plant image unfortunately I can't even changing absolute relative random um, doesn't even do it. it. Random is just 90 or 180. It doesn't change it for some reason. So I, I'm going to have to delete. Um, I could explode the distributed objects and manually put them in there, but I really don't want to change them that much. So I'm going to delete. And what I would have to do is let's um, zoom over here. I'm going to go in here and select because this plant image does not rotate with the um, let's see here plant image see I can set this plant image as absolute the elevation as absolute and it's been a while since I've looked in plants. But it does not rotate with the um, crud, with the camera. Oh, there it is. Options. Image always faces camera. That does not, that is unchecked, so it's not, um, it's not rotating. All right, so I'm going to copy this image and just rotate it 
as I want to here. I was hoping I could use the distribution path. And just put it between each of the arborvitaes. Let's turn like this. All right, so these I'm going to have to adjust height. Let's say 120. Pull that down. It's plenty wide enough, so I'm not going to retain the aspect ratio. I'll call it 12 feet. And there we have a um, better situation going on. I love the distribution paths. So that's one way, that's one um, area not to use a distribution path. But I love the distribution path because we can then quickly do more, fewer or more um, objects along that path. So if I don't need as many arborvitaes, I can go with four along the path. Or if I want more, I can add 12 along the path and change it quickly. There's a bunch of arborvitaes. I don't need that many. I did distribution paths with this um, ground cover flocks down here, the white. And you can see the path that I did. Let's say, so I did 36, let's go 30, and maximum 48. Random sides. Um, object scaling, I went up, let's go 150, 100 to 150%. Random sides, we could go five to 12 uh, inch offset random sides and that will affect how much flocks we see, how much ground cover we see along here. So that's distribution paths. Draw a line, a spline, an arc, convert it to a distribution path, um, and have fun. I hope that helps. If you've learned something new uh, or found out that this might help you go a little quicker, would you leave the encouragement of a thumbs up down there? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified each week that I upload these videos. Check out my website, designbuildsolutionsllc.com, for the services that I can help you with, whether you're a homeowner, designer, or contractor. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful week.